Let's put something in the box now. Merci beaucoup. Positiveness. The ability to get the work done in a positive way. So, be, you're going to take a lesson, you should be positive about what you're trying to do, and should be structured not in a negative way, but in a positive way. Okay, so many people tend to think and teach, oh, um, this is wrong, that is wrong, this is wrong, that is wrong, and it should be done differently. Okay, it should be done in a positive and constructive way, even when you practice, not in a destructive way, because that will stop you growing. Okay, so that's one thing that we put in the box for talent. Growth potential. A hunger for personal growth and development, the ability to keep growing. Now, if you're not hungry to improve, if you're not hungry to get better, if you're not hungry to develop yourself, well, you won't become talented. So you need to be hungry and you need to uh, want to learn in everything. Okay? Even when you stop dancing, you need to keep your brain growing and growing. So that is a, a very uh, important thing, I think. This is what well, you can say, drive, desire, that need to be in the box. Thank you. Oh, this is a bit strange. Follow through. The determination to get the job done completely and with consistency. So what should I do? Oh, I went to have this lesson and they told me, I oh, don't know, they have to rise on at the end of two, blah, blah, blah. And I've done it one time. You have to be consistent and repeat it and do it again and do it again. So that is follow through mean that if you know what you have to do, well, then do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. That is a follow through. So that will make you a talented dancer. So we put that in the box as well. Thank you. Resiliency. The ability to bounce back when problems arise. Now, when you have a problem in life, it's an opportunity for you to grow. It's not a problem. So if I have a problem, thank you very much, I'm going uh, to get to the problem, face the problem, that's it. I'm going to face the problem and learn from that. Don't avoid the problem. If you avoid the problem, the problem stays there. So your talent will not develop. Okay, so this is, I mean, if you think about competition, you get a better result, blah, blah, blah. You know, even if you, if you think about your own practice, you didn't practice well, but you need to be resilient. Now, I'm going to say later, I'm going to keep going with this thing. Integrity. This is a difficult word. Trustworthiness and solid character consists Word and walk. So what I'm saying, basically, I have to do it. What I made a decision, okay, I have to stick to my own word. Okay, because that integrity is also, I cannot lie to myself. Now, if I made a decision that I want to do something, go ahead and do it. Many people talk a lot and don't walk nothing. Okay, so that is another thing that in the dancing, in the box of talent, need to be included. I'll go a little story in the next one. See the big picture. The ability to see and set your goal. Now, if you don't see that, I'm sorry, you don't know where you're going. So you need a goal. The goal needs to be achievable, of course. You don't, you know, I cannot decide I'm going to fly on that mountain and try for all my life, because I know it's impossible. But you need to have a goal. You need to be, you need to set your own goal. You need to, you need to see the big picture, like the, the movie. You need to see that. Where are you going? 
It's not happening to you, you make it happen. Okay, the first time I went to Blackpool, well, she knows, she's sitting right there. I went to Blackpool, we did the competition, they throw us out on the first round. The following night, I said to her, I will win this company. Now, is that craziness? Maybe. Maybe it's craziness, but, you know, if you make a decision, stick to your own word, work at it, it won't happen to you. You need to work, see the big picture, which is, that's my drive, my desire to get to that point. Many people, they take lessons, they dance, they have no idea what they're doing. They just expect things to happen to them. They just say, okay, oh, this competition wasn't good, so where are you going? Have you got a plan? If it doesn't work out your plan, be resilient, keep working in again. You know, if you, the only people that don't win, the people that quit. If you keep working, hard work, I'm saying, you will get it. So that's the big picture thing. Discipline. Oh my God. That's a big word for Italian people. The willingness to do what is required regardless of personal mood. Oh, today I don't feel good and I don't want to practice. Sorry. Doesn't, you know, you can't do that. If you got an idea what you're doing, where you want to go? You see the big picture? No, today I feel uh, I've got headache, I don't want to take a tablet, my dear, and go on the floor and practice. Because that's the only way that you become talented. Okay, so how many times you feel, I don't, I don't feel, I never feel like doing something anyway, but I have to do it. I never feel doing this. So you have to you have to commit yourself to discipline. Discipline is, is you know, your teacher will guide you what, is, what you have to do with um, technique, with information. But if you're not disciplined, you will not be able to do anything. Is that a hand there? Oh, lady. I thought she wanted to talk to me. That's it. Nothing more. Now, if you want to add something, you can do it. There's more pages here. Well, it's not a champion. Champion is, you know, I'm going to talk about that in a second. But there is many other things. I'm just selecting some. You know, I'm reading, I'm reading all the time things that motivate the brain. And uh, I think, you know, if I go back and I see what's happening, where well, many people miss all this, and they want to get the result, and they want to become natural, they want to become talented. But I'm sorry, talent is desire, as I told you, is not happening to you. You make it happen through this series of things. And something more, you need, you know, of course, decision. You need, you need for example, now, can you become a talent dancer with bad information? No, you can't. But I don't think that this day you've got bad information anywhere. You've got different information, but that's not bad information. So the information... Are, all, everywhere is good, but these people, you know, they go... Let me see, I don't want to skip one thing. Okay. People, they... I remember one guy said to me, he came and take a few lessons, then he went to dance, he was a youth guy, he was, went to dance Cervia, and uh, I don't remember, he made a semi-final or something like that. And the father, wow, wow, he came to me and said, thank you very much, thank you. You know, that was a great thing. But now, he, did, he probably took three lessons. So do you think it's me that did the difference? No way. But I say to the father, you know, I think you should just relax. You know, they dance, so you go and congratulate them, not me, because I've done nothing. I just told them what to do, and they know what they're doing. But I say, but remember, now you come to me today because you're happy. If tomorrow they don't make the next round, do you think it's my fault? Is it my fault if they don't make the next round? And if they're good, is I'm, I'm the good one? No, it's all down to the dancer. So you have to 
Look at yourself in the mirror. If it doesn't work, look again and try to find why it's not working. Don't blame on the other what's happening to you. Okay? So, now, I need to drink a little vino. I think that's fine. I don't like plastic or you like plastic. Well, you better have a discipline. Discipline. You're a discipline in the put, the the put the water in your mouth. The way you drink is with discipline, don't forget. Oh, discipline. All right. I'm going to read you something about golf right now. You know golf? Well, I'm playing golf a little bit. Who knows Tiger Wood? You know Tiger Woods? Well, this is a long article, okay, but I'm going to read this little thing. Tiger emphasis has always been on learning and knowing how to hit quality golf ball. Could be a natural turn, okay? Because he, he, thought, he was taught by his dad to play the old game. Oh, here we go, is the teacher. Teacher teaching you what to do. But the son, He's got an open mind, and he wants to learn growth potential. He played the new game better than everybody else. Tiger also refused to be satisfied with, with his golf game. Now, if you're satisfied, well, that's the end of the game then. If you're happy with what you're doing, go home, finish. So go home and practice and dance in your own House, don't do competition. What are you doing for that for? It took a lot of gut for him to go to another teacher and hang, you know, uh, uh, hang honey after winning all those majors. So he won all this competition, but he changed dramatically his game. But Tiger is all about improving. He thought he had some swing flow, which is David told me his mistakes, sin, sin, floor, and under the gun, he was afraid of those flow cropping up. It means having to struggle and listen to a second guessing. But he deal with it, with, he deal with the problem and made the change. So, even when you are an accomplished dancer, if you don't put yourself on the line and say, what is my next step? What should I learn? How do, should I get better? Well, you should stop. If you don't feel hungry, for more. Now, if ever, you know, I, I read, I put down a few things here. If you think you're doing all this, if you think you, you actually, all the things that I wrote down, you're actually doing that, well, then you become talented. If you don't, well, look yourself in the mirror. Because that's the thing, that's the best place to look if it doesn't work. Okay? I'm going to talk to you about practice. Okay, so now this, this, all this thing, for me, all that thing is talent as in the, in the box. Now, I need to practice. Okay, so my teacher is telling me what to do. And I'm, I'm going to do it. I make my decision, da, 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 and I practice. How do, you, how do people practice? People practice, 90% of us, I mean, we did. I did for many years. I guess I learned the, all these things because I've done it all wrong. So, you know, you know, by doing it wrong, you learn it. And if you practice without a goal, you go nowhere. So if I today go on the floor and say, okay, let me try and dance. Oh, it doesn't feel the same as yesterday. Oh, let's try and fix this, fix that. Oh, oh, that's better. Well, if it doesn't feel the same as yesterday, okay, when it will feel the same as yesterday, I'm, as, I'm the same as yesterday. So it's not any better, it's the same. So when am I going to grow? Because if I base the improvement on my own feeling, well, forget it then. I'm all at the same level. So there is no goal for practice. I think when you practice, you should have a goal, and that goal should stay in your brain for all that time that you're going to practice that. I don't know. i give you an example. Today I'm going to... Uh, they, I had this lesson, and they told me that this frame, or when I close the feet in tango, should be like this, and that frame is like that, and that's what I'm going to practice. 
and I'm going to practice for as long as possible until I'm tired and I can't do it physically today anymore. But that's my teacher give me guidance to where I want to go. I know that that's where I want to go, and I've got these people with me that help me, okay, go this way a little bit, and so I have to listen to this and put this into work, okay? You don't practice without a goal. You better stay home because you go back to your normal thinking. If you, there is no direction, forget. I've never seen, uh, you know, if you look at football, a, any sport, you know, they have a coach and they do, the, they do the Sunday game and then on Monday, he say, okay, this is not right, this is not right, we're going to practice that. So he's got direction. They don't say, okay, let's pray and see if we come better this time. There's no way. He will not improve. Okay, so no goals, no improvement. You've got enough people around in this wonderful ballroom dancing world. They've got good information for you to help you to go to your goals at the end. Okay? You cannot blame them if it's not happening. The mirror is always there. Now, after you learn all this, you then face to a competition. Okay, oh, here we go. We've got a lot of enemies. Okay, I've got the floor that I don't like because it's sloped that way, this one. So I don't like it. It's too sticky. They, they made me dance at the time that I don't want to dance. You know, I, I, rather, I feel quite good at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but I have to start 10 o'clock in the morning. So, I've got that. Then I'm looking at the judges, and mm, there is no one that I like. There is all enemy again. Oh my God. And then who's dancing? Oh, this guy's dancing, that guy's dancing. Oh, shit. Oh my God, what am I doing here? So, it's all wrong. You know, I, you know, everybody's against me here. I can't do anything. Now, is that a mental approach for competition? No. Can you change the floor? No. Can you change the timing? No. Can you change the judges? No. Can you change your competitor? No. Can you change your result? No. <laughs> after it's done, I mean. After it's over, you can't change it. Next time I change it. So there is a lot of things that you cannot change. So why are you worried about it? You should not even see them. Why are you smiling to the judges? They're not there. Why are you afraid of your competitor? He's not there. What are you doing here? I came here. For this is the way I always try to dance. I dance a competition to see if what I make, you know, through my practice, I, in this time I feel that this is the thing that makes me dance better today, I gonna, I'm going to find out if I can do that in the competition floor. Under those stress situations, I'm trying to avoid them as much as possible, but you know, you can't lie to yourself, you, you know they are there. But what is my job today? Is it my job to come here and complain about everything? Because if that is my job, okay, I'll do that. Or is my job to come here and try the best that I can? Well, if that, what I have to do, then there is nobody around me. There is no one. The only thing, there is me, my partner, the music they have to follow, and that's it. For all the competition, I'm focusing on that thing, and even if in the middle of the competition, somebody's trying to change that, I don't know, I'll try to keep my arms out, down, and somebody in the middle of the company says, pick up your arm, there's no chance I'm going to do that. Because today, my decision, so that's integrity, was to come here and keep the arms down and dance the comp. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to pay the price. I'm last, thank you very much, next time they are here. But there is many people that get deviated from information. Now. You do the comp, you make up your mind what you want to do, and just go ahead and do it. You will see the results later. What's, what's the big deal? It's just dancing competition. You know, it's not the end of the world. If you don't make your own decision about how you want to perform today, well, I'm sorry, you know, it's going to just look as an ordinary thing, and there is no direction for you. So 
what will make me happy with this competition? What, what, what will be, make me, oh, I've done the best competition of my life? It's not the result. I don't care. It's the only, the only thing. If, did I achieve my goal today? What was my goal? Was my goal, I don't know, keeping the arms up? Well, I've done all the comp. That was good. Now, if they call me first, okay, I'm going to get it. Thank you very much. But I'm not interested. That, will, that is the result of what I actually try to do. So focus your brain and your intention on your job, not on the result. Now, how many people just, you know, we all did it. I did it. Everybody did it. You're focusing on the result, and then you forget what you have to do. So what do you want to have the result for? You're not doing what you're supposed to do. So the, I think compet the competitor is a great thing, but to be competitor, you need to actually stick to many decisions that you make. I think that talent is a combination of things, so that's why I said there is no talent. Okay, I don't understand why, you know, this, you know, I, I dance when Marx was dancing, when Lee was, was dancing, well, they're all talented, but why, why, why are they practicing? Why didn't they go to the beach and have uh, champagne? And then, okay, today we dance, we're talented, we're going to win it. There's no chance. So it probably looked natural, it probably looked beautiful, it probably looked effortless, it probably looked whatever you want to say. But that's technique, of course, but that's not talent. It's hard work and dedication to what you have to do. If we just hope for talent, well, let's hope that we're born with talent and, you know, the dancing will happen to us. And I see many people, you know, that they think they've got talent, but they've got no discipline, they, and nothing happened to them. So what, what are they going to do with it? Okay? So, I'm going to close this down and tell you that, you see, I believe that if you don't have a brain, you can't dance. Okay, so that's the only thing that you have to put to work. People need to give you the right information. For example, if I'm going to have a conversation with him, and this guy playing with the PlayStation 24 hours a day and read a comic book, it's going to be an interesting conversation. He's feeding his brain with nothing. So what are you reading? What, where are you getting the information from? You know, you're eating the spaghetti because it's nice for your body. What do you put into your brain? You never thought about that? You have to, what, what is the food of my brain? What is what I'm putting in this? Because this is the only thing that makes me grow. If I put PlayStation business, what? I want to become stupid. What can I do? There is no growth. Okay, so treat your brain nicely, get the right information, and become talented. Thank you very much.